running these stills. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I. I am her. And you have arrived to Nista's Nation. And over here we do mainly things fragrances. There are times where I will throw in a little bit of this or a little bit of that. But most of the time it's going to be fragrance whether body or home. So today we are here to do something that is long awaited even by myself. Um, I'm here to do a full dedicated review to a fragrance in my favorite house. If you know Nista, you know that her favorite house brand fragrance is Bun Number no. 9. Favorite of all times. I've always been a fragrance girl all the way back to my tender girl age. Eight, nine years old going into department stores. Bun number nine, we fell into a really deep, passionate um, fragrance to human affair back in 2008, I want to say. Um, very young, just tenderoni age, going through grad school at the time. And um, someone introduced me and... I'm still at hello. They got me at hello and I'm still there. Overly intrigued. But today the fragrance that I will be talking about is Nolita. This is Nolita and this is the 1.7 ounce. I do not have the rectangle box that, I mean, well, the square box that it normally comes in because this particular fragrance, it was a part of the Lux Trio. Bun number nine, um, they do trios. They do a Lux Trio for women and a Lux Trio for men. Miss Larice, she will swap these out here and there. And I think there's a unisex. And I think it's like the Lux Trio 2, number two or something like that. But this fragrance was a part of that trio. If you are um, interested in purchasing Bun, I think if you can find a trio, there are like four trios on the site now. If you really want to get into bun, I would recommend purchasing the trio because it's almost like you're getting two for one. Um, the trio retails for like $480, but these retail for $295 each. So you do the math. And um, for the past few months, maybe three months, they have been doing spend 400 and you get this really nice travel set with three of their top fragrances. So let's just get right into it. Now, the way that I rate fragrances over here, you guys, I tell you the notes, of course. I give you a little history about it. Um, I tell you the projection, the longevity, the gender profile, the fragrance profile, the brand class, and I'll let you know if it is a forget it, feeling it, or forever it. So this is Nolita by Bun number nine. Okay, so Nolita was released 2017 and it comes in this size, which is the 1.7 ounce. It also comes in a 3.3 ounce. It comes in the Nolita scented candle. I featured that on my channel, it's on the short. It comes in the Nolita um, body silk. And what that is, is a body cream or body butter that they have for selected fragrances they don't come in all fragrances from bud number nine but they do have quite a few and a lot of times they are sold out and it does have a signature per I mean lipstick and why wouldn't it with all these beautiful lips on it so according to bud number nine the inspiration behind Nolita, for those of you who might know, Bun Number no. 9 is a New York-based company. And if you look and read or um, visit their site, you'll see that all of their fragrance names are inspired by a historical landmark or um, place, street, place, or town inside of New York. But um, according to Bun bon Number no. 9, Nolita the neighborhood that begins just across Houston Street, two blocks south of us, has become a millennial's favorite and hottest of downtown's hotspot. The scent is a ladylike classic freesia paired with 
the unexpected wake up of tangerine. The fragrance notes are tangerine, freesia, and lilies, rose, jasmine sandbox, soft amber, musk, and sandalwood. And she is that girl. The projection on this fragrance, when I talk about projection, you guys, that means how long can I smell my fragrance with just idly sitting? I don't have to do a nose to skin or clothes sniff. I can just smell it. So it projects for about four hours. The longevity, it lasts anywhere from eight to 10 hours. So you spray it on in the morning and it's with you until you take your nighttime evening shower. The gender profile is recommended for women. The fragrance class is a floral musky fragrance. And the brand class, of course, is niche. <laughs> and this is signature scent approved, you guys. So let me give you a little backstory on Nolita, how I first discovered or got into it. Okay, Nolita. so my first introduction to Nolita was by way of candle. Um, about three years ago, my husband bought me a set and for some reason he mix matched it. I don't know why. I think he said that they did not have the um, Madison Square Park because that was the one that I requested. I wanted the Madison Square Park candle as well as the Madison Square Park fragrance. And I also got the Madison Square Park um, body silk. So... They didn't have the candle, apparently, so then he got Nolita. So, um, I haven't burned the candle, but if you just take that candle out the box and sit it, like, if I set it right here on my desk, you could smell it. It smells so good. So, actually, what I did, I took some of that wax, and I rubbed it right here on my pus point, and I was like, I have to have this. So, eventually, I did get it, and I got it in the trio. So Nolita is definitely signature fragrance approved. Nolita has this dry down that just kind of stays with you. It is so pretty. This is definitely a female's fragrance. Um, and a lot of times you can tell by the way if a overly fit make a, a bottle more feminine or more masculine, you can kind of tell they were, you know, delegating this fragrance for a female or a male. So you can just see by this, this is just epic. I just love this. This is so me, I'm not a makeup girl, but I love lippies, glitter lip, matte lip, glossy lips. I love all types of lipsticks. And these are some of my favorite shades. I'm really off into the pinks, the reds, and the orange. So this fragrance was just so befitting to me. And then to capture the fragrance itself and it wears so well and so pretty on the body. It is just awesome. The tangerine in here, it's, it's there, but it's not giving you that overly citrus note like some bergamots or grapefruits or limes or, you know, lemons give. It's giving a really nice, beautiful, citrusy note it's not even giving you that orange blossom i want to say that it is that soft amber and that musk that's just really taking this fragrance to a whole nother level because the dry down as i was saying it is such a pretty girl soft musky just just that girl girly girl fragrance it's not the florally girly girl and a lot of times with girly girl fragrances they are mainly florals in my opinion the ones that i normally like but to have something that is as tart as a tangerine with the um rose i don't get a lot of rose in it but i do smell that jasmine sandbox but the tangerine the soft amber and the musk and i'm sure the sandalwood is playing its role too it is so good in this fragrance you guys i have worn this so much i'm almost willing to bet if i did a bottle test this is probably a third gone it's gone and it doesn't normally happen that quick with me because i have so many fragrances and i try really hard to 
experience them and spread them out because I don't want to waste things. But for some reason, this was my summer girl. I just constantly kept grabbing this. If you follow me over on Instagram, you can see that this was my fragrance of the scent of the day for many days. This right here is an anytime fragrance in my opinion. It is safe for work. It's safe for brush. It's safe for church. It's safe for date night. It is just a very beautiful fragrance. Now, some may think that this is more of a summer fragrance, and I get that. And it could be depending on who you are. But the musk, the amber, and that sandalwood note that you get in Nolita, I think that it would be very befitting for the fall as well as the winter. And you know what I tell you nistas and nistos all the time. You wear what you desire. You wear what you feel, whatever makes you happy. But some things, they do perform better at different seasons, during different seasons of the year. So um, I cannot wait to try this on a very crisp, cold day to see if I get that same vibe that I was getting on those warm, humid days. So um, Nolita by Bun number nine, she would definitely fall in my forever it. I would definitely forever it. Like I said, this is signature fragrance worthy. If I had to have this as a fragrance that I wore all the time or 90% of the time, I will be happy with it. So Nolita by Bun number nine, you guys. Let me know what you think and how you feel about the Bun brand or your favorite Bun fragrance. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.